uh, my uh, theme of this uh, talk is on um, not uh, just on safety management but uh, a di bit different uh, what are the modern solutions for construction safety management and uh, how uh, the modern technology we can leverage for safety management so just um, uh, giving you the outline i will be just sharing few statistics at the beginning and then i will be talking about why we required modern solutions to tackle safety problems and uh, what is the what is the iot uh, because iot is a very hot topic and how iot can help us to manage safety at construction sites i have i have presented uh, architecture of iot at construction site last year at isar i will be sharing you with, uh, that with you then i will be talking about uh, tools which can help in uh, managing safety that is safety plus plus it is a case study uh, by mit and uh, last i will be talking about uh, virtual reality based safety uh, we know that safety is uh, is a problem uh, not only in uh, construction sector but in many other sector but in construction if we see the stats there is uh, there is a lot of uh, a higher fatality rate than other sectors so as in one of the five cons uh, workers in construction deaths annually in construction one in every 10 construction workers is injured annually and the construction sector suffered injury rate is double the industrial average so if we see that there is a huge huge uh, uh, cost also being involved for uh, save, for uh, compensating the worker and uh, for the industry also so safety is a uh, is one of the topic which uh, contractors gen generally trying to ignore but uh, it i think it is one of the most important uh, i think safety is first generally what is the uh, uh, what is the attitude of contractor is why eliminate the hazard when you can buy personal protective equipment like you can invest on you can give workers helmet you can give them then why invest on training uh, telling about safety uh, having safety audits and all this attitude is of uh, general contractor is not correct what should be is it is safety is not a priority actually it is a precondition people don't see safety like this and if people will not safety it, it is like a precondition then they will just try to enforce safety every actually it should be enforced all the time coming to uh, why why how uh, construction sector can leverage safety and why it needs modern safety solutions as you know we have many large projects coming up we have number of projects coming up uh, all over the country we have complex uh, projects which are in volatile environment like uh, uh, skyscrapers unconventional projects underground uh, underwater projects and uh, the uh, the shorter the deadlines for the project uh, contractor tries tries to avoid safety checks safety conditions and then run towards progress also if we see that initially the initially what uh, people uh, thought safety as was if a worker is injured then he is injured right now the parameters of the safety have changed right now heart rate sweat body posture mental health these all comes into uh, part of safety so how we can measure those how we can tackle those what uh, new technology have brought, brought to us is i will be focusing uh, in this talk on three three one three technologies but there are many more so uh, computer vision definitely computer vision have uh, uh, because you know, cameras are very cheap they are in everyone's hand even the sites have been installed uh, many sites have been installed with uh, cameras monitoring cameras then the iot technology internet of things uh the sensors cost is decreasing and uh, even the network connectivity has been better so uh, iot technology is also getting better and last thing is uh, the leverage we can take of virtual reality for training purposes so these are the key technologies which uh, i think can thrive safety uh, very much uh, at last year at isar uh, i presented my initial part of my work which was on uh, impact of 5g technology on iot applications in construction project management the what are the iot applications in construction project management with regard to this talk this uh, i will i will just uh, tell you what is the framework for the for construction safety so based on um, pmbok uh, the project management applications have been broadly categorized into many categories like planning and control quality management safety management equipment management procurement management and construction execution as you can see construction safety management let's talk about safety management here so iot uh, what what applications can iot bring 
so later in my talk you will you will recognize what is the potential of iot for safety management if not now then um, we can recognize hazard we can have a platform for hazard recognition we can have safety equipment checking platform we can monitor directly workers whereabouts we can even monitor worker health because of the modern technology and um, we can even uh, iot can even help us in uh, preparing emergency and identification response platform so these are like few not not limited to these but these are the few uh, domains of what iot applications can, can have under construction safety management coming to how we can implement iot architecture at site so uh, first was like what are the iot applications at site now what will be the data flow so let's say we have a very big execution site and uh, we have many uh, work going at many places let's say process environment 1 2 3 so uh, because this paper was on uh, was on uh, iot applications i have we have a box of many sensors over here one sensor will monitor progress one sensor will monitor quality many sensors will monitor pmn like you can just uh, keep sensors on equipments or heavy machineries you can know their whereabouts how much time they were on how much fuel they have consumed so many things you can get data from site so these are like the ground uh, uh, ground sensors like the physical sensing devices and these sensors can give us much data so what i propose in this is we have many sensors which are categorized into many departments and each sensor will be sending data to its own department which which will access assess the data and can directly send to the project office for taking larger decisions or very critical decisions so this is like the data flow at construction site coming to the main thing what is the architecture of iot so architecture of iot has been defined in many other sectors but uh, this was the i think in my knowledge this is the first time we have defined uh, the architecture for iot for construction decision management decision making in construction and so i will just uh, briefly talk you to you about what are the various uh, various uh, layers of uh, architecture of iot uh, the main motive of this slide is to give you a brief idea about how we can implement iot at construction site at the bottom you can see the physical layer so the physical layer is something like uh, our mobile cameras or the sensors which actually takes the data directly so these sensors take the data directly sensors actuators gps gps sensors many uh, small devices and then they send to the next layer which is called as connectivity layer which is comprised of two layers one is the network layer and other is the transmission layer so the network layers have many uh, and these physical layers are also called nodes these are uh, these these are called nodes and these uh, these are the small networks they form with uh, with, uh, with having routers lan modems firewalls vpn and gateways so these are the these are the part of the network uh, network uh, layer coming to the second part of the connectivity layer which is the transmission layer which helps in transmitting this data to other cloud services so this uh, the next layer which is consisting of web services uh, field area networks this transmits the uh, data from the network layer to the cloud platforms which is the processing platform so generally people don't do the processing the data processing on site they what they do is they hire some servers and they upload the data let's say they have a data of about one week or 15 days or a month or even particular day they can do various type of management so i have some uh, options here like we can do building control platform we can have smart energy platform and there are some other uh, cloud based platforms like security services and all and at the last layer is the application layer what the project manager or the construction manager wants in the mobile so if you if you are a construction manager you want, don't want to uh, see these four layers these are all the hidden layers the last layer is the main layer which you are so you will have some kind of a app which will be connected to the server which will give you the direct stats of the things uh, real time stats of the thing happening at construction site like was there any nearby incidents today where the, any workers were injured here i have given what are the uh, business uh, management layer on which the decision manage, uh, decision making can be based on i will say these three things like uh, the applications the data flow and the architecture will give us will gives us a broader pmbok based framework for iot implementation in construction management and that can also be leveraged for construction safety now coming to particularly construction safety i have a case study uh, this is a concept by mit 
and they they call it safety plus plus so here are uh, various uh, various type of uh, wearables which workers wear like jackets shoes they have provided they have embedded sensors in each of the uh, each of the components they trying to manage many aspects so this uh, is a pilot project and it gives us a feel of what iot is capable of i will just show you and then you will realize it uh, let's say this is a jacket designed by mit so it, you can see that there are sensors embedded in the jacket okay so these are the gas sensors there is loudness sensors there are led lights uh, there is a interface that that gathers communication and send it to the main board so this jacket itself is a small network a connected network in, in, in itself this is one one side of the jacket the second side have the temperature and humidity sensor there is altitude sensor which tells us how much uh, high the worker is from the ground platform coming to uh, more aspects of this jacket so it, this jacket generally is embedded with uh, just understand very small small sensors many type of sensors air quality loudness other chemical sensors etc and what this uh, jacket does it it takes uh, feedback from uh, your body so it uses biosensing technology you have they have ecg sensors respiratory sensors uh, flexure sensors and what it have it have a microprocessor embedded in the jacket itself and it have a connecting device which i mentioned in my physical layer it is uh, in my uh, connecting layer it is called a zigbee wireless standard so this is like a bluetooth it helps in transmitting the data and it have uh, many other sensors like accelerometer sensors uh, gyroscope or barometric sensors also so it is a combination the jacket is uh, a combination of many sensors so let's see how the how uh, the jacket can apply its uh, technology for safety prevention so let's say a worker is going on and there is a gas leak scenario a gas is leaking in a chemical plant in the sensor will see that uh, it, it will sense that the the gas is detected and it will start beeping and a haptic feedback will be uh, will be there for the worker which will uh, suggest the worker to wear the face mask he is not wearing the face mask so it will suggest the worker to wear the face mask also because there is gas leak and it will what it will do is it will enable the nearby workers also it will give a sense signal to the nearby workers also maybe there will be a beep Uh, there will be a beep on their uh, jacket which will be uh, turning on and off again and again and it will be like a warning sign so as i can i can say there is a haptic uh, sensor so as soon as the worker touches its chest or something the haptic feedback will uh, enable the other workers also even in the case of gas leak automatically it will take, uh, tell the other workers wear a mask and there is some kind of a safety hazard which has been detected coming to the second uh, tool there is a uh, carabiner you all know this uh, you have, when when you climb up something there is a uh, carabiner connected from to, from your jacket uh, the safety vest to the uh, scarf holding so the, it has uh, they have designed a safety carabiner uh, which they call it uh, carabiner plus plus and which enables uh, data communication it has a pressure sensor which can detect if you have tied it if you have a uh, clamped it uh, in the scarf holding or not and it can uh, send data to other communication network if a worker is there and if we have not sent it will automatically detect the altitude and it will say that you are on high altitude and the sensor will start beeping and then till you do not strap the uh, strap the carabiner in it will not stop it will also tell the nearby workers that you have not uh, strapped the carabiner in and other workers can also tell you that you should uh, put carabiner next product is the safety vest which have also many sensors so there are like uh, haptic sensors for the users it senses the health data it senses the perspiration heart rate respiration and orientation generally if you can see now, right now smart watches and flexible uh, hand wearing sensors are also there which can uh, which can uh, sense our heart rate our oxygen level everything and then they can uh, uh, they can warn us so this is kind of a wearable jacket which have many sensors so it's in a case of a scenario let's say a worker is having a heart failure scenario the heart rate sensors will get enabled it will notify the other construction worker that the it will directly notify the nearest construction worker and then he can come to help uh, the concerned person so it takes the heat uh, it it have biosensing technology it takes the feedback from the from the jacket uh, from the body itself and uh, i think the last product are the shoes 
so they have uh, they have embedded sensor in the shoes uh, this is this shoes consists of uh, weight uh, pressure sensor which uh, tells a lot like if a worker uh, measures the weight of the load lifted by the user and if it, the load is high they sends a signal so let's say if a worker is uh, just picking up something and the load is high so they will uh, they will uh, give a warning to nearby workers so uh, so the nearby workers will receive a message like uh, that uh, a worker is in need so they can come to help and make be then the heavy lifting won't be a problem i these products are just products but the background thing is how iot is enabling them these small sensors are all all enabled by iot and they give real time updates that is the main thing for safety so it enables you the our workers which are adjacent to us also there is one guy sitting in the let's say a safety office which is monitoring everything going on construction site so he will also receive real time updates and let's say if a worker is working alone there are no nearby workers among it or there is a safety hazard he will directly get an instant warning or an alarm or a notification and he will can be able to see stats this this guy is the last end user which i mentioned in my iot layer this is the topmost layer of iot which is the end users which where we can see directly the uh, data giving us the uh, knowledge uh, or our decision making capability 